Many times parents are very concerned because the child's eyes keep getting worse every year when they see the eye doctor. The question is, is there any way I are able to prevent my child's eye from getting worse? Understanding the cause of nearsightedness will help us to discover what is the best way for us to prevent our children's vision from getting worse. For a long, long time, we have been focusing on the fact that correcting a person's vision to 2020 is our goal. And we believe that by correcting their vision, their vision will be stabilized. Unfortunately, we are wrong. In fact, latest study discovered that our visual system is composed of two areas. The two areas is the central vision and then also the peripheral vision. Central vision, as you all you know, um, is talking about uh, 2020 vision, is talking about sharp, clear vision. The central vision and the peripheral vision complement each other, work together to enrich or stabilize the, vis the visual function. The fovea, that's the center part of the eye, is responsible for our central vision. Peripheral vision, on the other hand, is responsible for motion, for shape, for form. They are connected to different pathways, and also interesting is they are ended at different parts of our brain. While the central vision helps us to see our image clearly, so-called quote unquote 2020 vision, our peripheral vision gives us very important information about space and help us to react to our surroundings. When we are moving, peripheral vision is in place, is helping us to see how the ball uh, coming towards us, how's the surrounding, how should we respond to it. When the peripheral retina is stimulated, there's a certain chemical called dopamine will be released from the peripheral retina, which help us to stabilize the growth of the whole eyeball. However, when our central vision is overly used, such as reading at your phone all day long, reading at your book all day long, the peripheral vision is underutilized or even ignored, such as sitting down and not moving. Your peripheral vision is hardly stimulated. Because of that, dopamine will not be released in our retina. As a result, the eyeball will continue to grow larger, longer. This is how nearsightedness or myopia develop. If you're suffering from nearsightedness or having rapid changes of your prescription every year, there are several things that you can do in order to slow down or even stop the progressions of your nearsightedness. Number one, we have to keep a very good working distance. Imagine if you hold a book right here, real close, you're blocking everything to your periphery. If you hold your book at this distance, you open up your, open, your peripheral space so you're able to stimulate the peripheral vision. The more that you stimulate the central vision and deprive your peripheral vision, the faster your prescription change. Secondly, we also need to sit at least a good 28 inches from your computer screen. Hold your reading material about 16 inches away so that you are not going to block your peripheral vision, just like what we mentioned earlier. You can also um, do not sit just while you're reading or working. Do not just sit there and do your work two hours, three hours. After 20 minutes or so, stand up, do some stretch, walk around. Doing this, you're able to stimulate your peripheral vision. Remember just now I said, the only way that you can stimulate your peripheral vision is by moving. So slow down. Um, do more walking, do more stretching while you're doing your paperwork. This will certainly slow down your changes of your myopia. Also, balancing your life with physical activity. Activities such as basketball, hockey, soccer, cycling, they provide very good stimulation of our peripheral retina. You also help you or help your children to slow down on the changes on their eyesight. Consider using other means of correction instead of glasses. 
the younger a person is, the more their eye will be affected by wearing glasses. Glasses naturally distorted or deprived or deprived your peripheral vision. So if you're able to consider other options such as uh, corneal refractive procedure like CRT, or you can use some what we call the multifocal uh, contact lenses to stabilize your myopia. And also there's certain uh, exercise you're able to do, vision therapy will also help you with the progression of your nearsightedness. Give me a call and see whether we're able to help your children uh, to slow down their changes.